Flash messages enable you to send state from one page to another using server-side redirects. A common use case for this is when a user registers for an account within your application. They're going to most likely have to verify their email address before they can log in. Now we can use this flash message to send a message to the user telling them to check their email. We can redirect them elsewhere and that message will pop up. Now the creator of Superforms, also known as Andreas or also known as Cisco Heat, has also created a library which makes it super easy to add flash messages to your SvelteKit app called SvelteKit Flash Message. While it integrates nicely with Superforms, it can be used in any SvelteKit app. So let's take a look at how to use it. So I've went ahead and set up a SvelteKit app with a couple of pages and a layout. And this is actually the starting code for my modern SaaS course. And I've also went ahead and installed the SvelteKit Flash Message library. Now the goal here is that when a user registers for an account, I wanna redirect them to the login page and send them a flash message telling them to check their email. Now, how you go about rendering this message is really up to you. You could render it inside some alert component, or you could trigger a toast notification. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do both. So if you're using TypeScript, the first thing you'll have to do is to update your app.d.ts, and we're gonna add this flash property here. And this is the structure of the flash message. We get a type as well as a message. Now, the next thing we have to do is update our layout.server.ts file here in the root of our project. And we're gonna wrap this load function in the load flash message function which comes from SvelteKit flash message. So all I have to do here is wrap this entire thing in load flash message, just like so. And now we'll be good to go. This is because this library has to access the event because it's gonna set a cookie with your message and then grab that cookie when it comes back in. So this has to wrap our root layout server load function. Next, inside of the register routes default action here, I'm currently not doing anything, but let's just pretend like we had some registration logic here and now they're done registering, we want to redirect them to the login page where they would be able to log in once they confirm their email. So what we would normally do is we throw a redirect, you know, from a spell kit saying 303 or 302 slash login like so, right? Well, what changes here is we actually get redirect from spell kit flash message slash server. And this extends or is backwards compatible with the original spell kit redirect. So this would work just fine while using this redirect here. It would work the same way that you might expect. Uh, but we also have the ability to add on additional things. So by default, if we just leave off this status code here, it's just going to assume it's a 303. So we can add where we want to redirect the user to. And then we can also define the structure of our message. So we can say a type, which is going to be success. And the message here is just going to say, confirm your email before logging in. And then the last thing we have to pass in is the event. And again, it's going to set a cookie on that event, which is then going to grab when it gets to this layout server load here. And that's how we're going to be able to grab that message and display it on the client. So this is all we need inside of our action here. So now inside of the root layout.svelte file, what we can do is we can actually access that flash message using the page store from app slash stores. So what we can do is we can say flash is equal to init flash, which comes from SvelteKit flash message client. And then we just have to pass in the page store just like this. So now what we can do is we can just console log for the time being that flash object, which is going to be a store. So you have to prefix it with a dollar sign here to actually access the value in the data. So now back inside of our application here, I've opened up my dev tool so I can check out the console. If I go to the register route here and I just try to register for an account, let's pretend like I actually filled that data in. You're going to see that I was redirected to the login page and this was console logged here. We have the type and the message. It's additionally going to be console logged on our server side as well, considering that we are server side rendering this page first because we threw a hard redirect there, right? And so from here, really, the world is your oyster. You can render out a flash message however you want. I'm going to demonstrate how to render out with an alert component and also how to trigger a toast notification with it. So let's start with the toast. So here I have this toaster component, which comes from Svelte French Toast. It's a stupid, simple toast library for Svelte. And I can trigger this toast by just calling toast, which we can import from here as well dot success or toast dot error from anywhere within the application and it will trigger a toast notification. So what we can do is you can say if flash and then we can just set up a switch statement here for flash dot type. So in the case of it being successful, I'm going to want to show a successful toast. So I can say toast dot success and then just pass the flash dot message and then I'll break and then same thing goes for the error. And so with this being here, let's go ahead and test this out. If I go back to my application and I try to register for an account, we're gonna see if we get this nice toast notification pop up here on our client side. So now let's take a look at how to render this within an alert component on a specific page. And I wanna show this alert here above this login form on this page. So what we'll have to do first is we have to actually get the flash store on our login page. And we can do that by going into the page.svelte and we're gonna import get flash from SvelteKit flash message. 
And then we'll set up flash is equal to get flash. We need to pass in the page store again. So we need to import that as well. So we pass in the page store like that. Now, one thing to note here is that init flash, which we're calling on the root layout here, has to be called before we can use get flash. So it has to be called on a page that's above whatever page you're calling get flash on in the hierarchy. So in this case, we're calling it on the root layout. It doesn't get much higher than that. So we know that the flash has been initialized. Now we're just retrieving it on this specific page, right? So this would be, we don't want to broadcast a message or we don't want to use a singleton component in our layout. We want to show different things on different pages. So now that we have access to this, all we have to do is just render out some type of alert component here, which I'm just using from Flowbytes Svelte to render out an alert based on the flash. So I'm saying if there's a flash and a flash message, then I'm going to set the color of this alert. And it's just a component here. You can look at the docs if you want, but basically just changes the color whether it's success or not. So if it's successful, it's going to be green. If not, it's going to be red. And then I'm setting the type here to show success or error. And then I'm showing the message. Let's go ahead and save this and see what this looks like now. So if I go to register for an account, click register. We're going to see that our success message popped up here, but also sort of the toast, right? So this kind of looks silly. So we definitely want to not use this toast here if we're going to be using alerts throughout the application, right? Or we want to use the toast on that specific page. This is just an example of how you could show a toast regardless of the flash message throughout the entirety of your app. So here we can go back in here now. Let's check this out again. And then now we're good to go. But if you noticed here, when I go back and forth between the login and register routes, that message kind of stays there. Now I could dismiss it with this dismiss button by the component here, but really this should be handled by something else. So if we go back into our layout.svelte file here, let's go ahead and set up a before navigate lifecycle function here. And what we're going to do is whenever we redirect or before we go to a new page, we want to reset the flash store. So this is basically just checking if where we're coming from is not where we're going, then go ahead and set the flash to undefined or the flash stores value to undefined here. So now when I navigate back and forth, we're going to see that message has disappeared. If I try to register again, navigate back and forth, the message is cleared. And that's how simple it is to add flash messages to your Svelkit app using Svelkit flash message. If you want to learn more about integrating it with Superforms, be sure to check out the Superforms docs. They have a whole section dedicated to that, as well as, of course, the Svelkit flash message docs. If you want to see how it's working behind the scenes with the cookies and stuff, it's super cool. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it's been informative. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.